To stay atop a world-class bucking horse for the required eight seconds takes more than just grit and determination. The transition from college rodeo to the big leagues was taking its toll on the rookie. You're in the slump, they're throwing you off, you're not winning anything. You think, well, it's over, you know, I'm gonna have to go get a job. <laughs> he knew there was a big difference, you know. I can beat the kids, but that wasn't what he wanted. He wanted to learn how to do it the right way. Chris got a piece of critical insight when he asked the veteran bareback champion Clyde Van Boris for a ride to the next rodeo. In the dark of night, as Clyde pulled on a gallon of wine, the old-timer opened up to Chris. He told me, he says, you know, kid, he says, uh, you get on those horses, you don't know if you spurt them in the belly or the butt or anything by the time you get off, do you? And I said, well, probably not. He says, you need to relax. And this is the lesson that Chris learned, was you got to hang out with guys that are winning. They'll tell you what you need to know to win the world, but you got to shut up and listen. If you start blowing smoke, they'll just walk away. On any professional level, in any professional sport, winning is between your ears, not in your pants. Chris listened and learned.